IGN Live at San Diego Comic-Con 2019. Since 1984, kids and adults have been obsessed with Transformers toys because why buy a toy robot and a toy car when you can buy a toy that is both of those things? Well, now it's 2019 and Hasbro's Transformers toy line is still as awesome as ever. So my co-host Brian Altano and I are going to tear open some brand new Transformers, technically one new brand new Transformer, and we're going to play with it right now. That's right. Uh, this is a brand new Comic-Con exclusive. It actually doubles as a backpack. So right off the bat, the hardest part about unboxings is tearing open this packaging, which is like pretty awesome and gorgeous. You can literally wear this box. It's, so, you'll so get let's, bullied, let's but you can wear it. A second. This is a combination of Optimus Prime and the Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters. It is a match made in heaven. It is the most 1980s thing you can imagine. And they even made the packaging look like a proton pack so that you can get made fun of while you walk around. <laughs> um, I actually have that trait already unlocked. It's a very special skill. So I'm gonna take the toy out here. This is, this is awesome. This guy uh, will run you, I believe, $149. It is convention exclusive. It is a full-blown Optimus Prime that is also an Ecto-1. I believe they're calling it the Ecto-35 edition. There's even a Slimer and a Leadership Matrix, which is green, the color of Ecto Cooler. I'm gonna bust this out here. Do you want to do literally anything while I'm doing this? No, I like what you're doing so you far. You want to just let me fly out I here? have some questions about why Slimer is here, by the way. Is he the driver of this truck? That's, I think Optimus Prime is still Optimus Prime in this scenario. So Slimer, a ghost goes inside Optimus Prime? I don't, I don't know, man. Because it also looks like the truck killed Slimer. He goes on the roller here. You can See? open that up and make it build. Oh, wow, that's die cast. That's great. Wow. This, okay, yeah, so, this, is a, this is a gross little boy right here. So fully finished, uh, Prime is going to be nine and a half inches tall if I can figure out how to transform it, which apparently can be done in 26 steps, but we're on a, you know, a live stage show production, and also I don't know where the instructions are. I think they're right here. Look at that. There's even slime on his little, on his little fact file. I made a dinosaur. That's not, you're not supposed to do that. That's not what that one does. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is a this is a, a not super complicated uh, on the inside here, as you can see. You got the easy part. I'm yeah. trying to figure this out. So t tell me, I don't know, like tell me a story or something while I'm trying to figure out how to turn this truck into. a When bag. I was a child, I had glow in the dark Ghostbusters bed sheets. Go on. That's the whole story. That's the whole story. That's no, that was the whole, whole story. Thing. Yeah. Dude, last year we had John Cena on this show to talk about Bumblebee, and we had these bootleg Transformers. We're like, transform this as fast as you can, and that dude transformed it in a snap. That man is ridiculously talented. Yeah, he that's John speaks, Cena, man. He speaks Mandarin. It's ridiculous. I wish he was here to help me transform Optimus Prime. Well, this year your co-host is a man who had Ghostbusters bed sheets. You really helped me out here. I'm and just... still might. This is going well so far. How's your part doing? Not going so great, really. I'm kind of doing my best here. In theory, this turns into Optimus Prime. There's his head. So this is uh, effectively a repaint of an existing model that's out there, um, but it's still really cool to see it. You know, I think you actually, you got the really hard part. I just had to build, think? like, I, I think I built his, like, house. Yeah, that's his, that's his house. That's, that's it. The, the base, the PlayStation. Yeah. Whatever it's So called. that's good. And what, what happens with this down over here? I don't know. He can play with it, have a barbecue. I don't know what he does <laughs> with it. I'm trying to get his neck to work. Let's talk about Slimer. If when you die, you become a ghost, who was Slimer? <laughs> Because I don't know anyone that looks like this. Yeah. I have a lot of questions about him. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. He's. I think it's a. I think it's a good look. Oh, this is great. You think this is a good Ecto, look? Ecto 35. Yeah. Why know. do you think this is a good look? He clearly li had a life well lived. I he think so. He had all sorts of hors d'oeuvres and delights. This is a good time. Yeah, he's doing well. He's got rubber arms. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to be upset at us for opening this because you're supposed to keep Comic-Con exclusives in the package so, forever. But I think you should let toys out and let them breathe at the off chance that Toy Story is real. I fully agree, but also uh, a lot of Comic-Con exclusives have gotten better about making them collector-friendly and that you can like basically unbox them and play with them, but still put them back in the packaging if you want to, I don't know. Do you want something. to wear the backpack? I absolutely don't want to wear the backpack. Well, you're wearing it. Get it off of there. See, look, here you what go. Is go. What is going on? Stop that. Quit there, it. that's Knock the backpack. Off. Stop Isn't that. Isn't that great? It's not even on me. I think you should put your laptop in here and get on the plane. Yeah? You think that's, you think that's the TSA pre-check approved? <laughs> Sir, there's slime all over that. That's a liquid. You can't have that. Do you think slime counts as a liquid? This looks kind of like a gravestone. Is that grim? I, I mean, it's about ghosts. They're dead, they're dead people. <laughs> so, like, uh, you know. Actually, Optimus Prime died in the Transformers movie, the original he, one. He did. Spoilers. Yeah, that's a 35-year-old th spoiler. You're doing really well over there. I'm getting, I'm getting it together. I, I think really, I knocked it out the park. So I really do love that he's, his, his windshield, his canopy, is, is like the slime green. Mm -hmm. I think it's an awesome look. Uh, I don't know how to do with his legs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know not how going. to do with his legs. What, what do you want? You, you did a great go. job. There I it is. I got it. Okay. 
Yeah, you had him. You had him with little short pants on for the, a second there. I think I have like the older, bigger version of this, which is like the masterpiece edition. You never want to break it, you know. It's always. Who's your favorite ghost? Like in, like in Ghostbusters or in general? Like in history. Uh, I think it's Abraham Lincoln. That's a pretty good ghost. That's, that's a like, great that's ghost. That's like a top ten ghost. I'm gonna go with Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin? They should have more presidential ghosts than Ghostbusters. He survived the kite thing. That's true. Anyway, we got Optimus Prime assembled here. Thanks for all your help, Brian. You really... Uh... You had the hard part. I had the cool part. So, I mean, I don't know what you wanted over here. Oh, this is great. Look at this. This is for reaching stuff on the high shelf. Have you ever seen Transformers? They don't... They're all the... They're, they're the size of trucks. They don't... What shelf? The, a lot of them are old and they can't reach the top shelf in their houses, so they have to use They don't this have claw. houses. They're cars. They're Transformers, garages. when they get tired and they need oil in their legs, they have to use this claw to reach stuff that's on the floor, like senior citizens. Does this... Oh, this is great. You didn't even talk about this. It looks like the trap. It's the, his car. It's, it's a mini car. car. Yeah, it is. Look, you can put Slimer's butt it. on it. Oh, look at that. It's roller. That's great. This looks like a moon buggy. There's a lot going on here, as you can see. There really is. There's a lot going on here at Comic-Con. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so this is, this is available at uh, Hasbro's booth, which is uh, 3329 at the convention. But the cool thing is Hasbro is well aware that kind of the worst thing about not, not being able to get these things at the actual show is it can make them hard to track down. People, you know, buy them all up and sell them on eBay for exorbitant prices. So they've been kind of doing this thing where uh, a little while after conventions, they will drop, uh, you know, a select sort of limited amount of these on HasbroPulse.com, which is their collective site. So obviously, yeah, that is the uh, that is the Ecto-35 Optimus Prime exclusive to Comic-Con or at HasbroPulse.com. This is a really cool toy. This feels like an authentic I really love this. nonsense mashup. This is that it. sort of perfect marriage between Ghostbusters and Transformers collector merch that uh, I'm completely into. Yeah, and hey, if you're in the market for a new backpack, there's yeah, that. It's all in one. Yeah. Luggage. That's a, a responsible adult expense. Uh, there's one more thing that Hasbro was showing off on the show floor that we really would have loved to get on this stage, but it's too big, which is the brand new recently revealed uh, Unicron. You know, Orson Welles from the movie. Let's take a look. Hey guys, here we are at San Diego Comic-Con and we just found this crazy Unicron figure at the Hasbro booth. Take a look at it. <laughs> 